Hey Gems, how you doing? This is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. How's your day going today? Today is a bonus visit video, but it is also containing a lovely little surprise. I have completed Diamond Shops, um, my third custom, my third of the three cats custom. Okay, so that being said, I want to do a huge, huge, huge thank you to Diamond Shop. One, I will always say it, is their service is above any other diamond painting company I have ever dealt with because their service starts before you even receive your product. Their service is not after you've got an issue. Their service is before and they really bring you in and they really, you, you do, you feel, they make you feel special and Let's face it, this day and age, a company making you feel special makes a big difference. So Diamond Shop, thank you for making me feel special. But on that side of it, um, I can announce that I am now an affiliate with Diamond Shop. Um, wow, you know, it's something that I am so proud to be an affiliate for. Um, yeah, so thank you Diamond Shop and Rowana Reggie and uh, Rocket and Zuli. Thank you for, um, you know, being such wonderful, wonderful people. So anyway, enough of the good stuff. There will be a link down below, which is my affiliate link. So please go ahead and use that link. Um, you know, your gems know that I'm a big sucker for Diamond Shop. One, their product is fantastic, and two, their customer service is beyond what you would expect for an online company. Their, I will, so their business is more like you walk into a shop front, you talk to the owners or the people behind the counter, and then they sell you the product. Well, that's almost the service that you get from them. So before you even get the product, you get contact. They will get, send you an email to say, this is coming. Here is the link to the unboxing so you can see us preparing it for you. So that is, it is a real, yeah, real, real good thing to go through. Uh, okay, anyway, enough about Diamond Shop. But yeah, I'm now an affiliate. Uh, links down below. I will say now that the link down below for the affiliate, use that link. If you would go into the search, you will search for either Fiona and you'll get my cats. If you search for, I think, Egypt, you will get my Egypt custom, which I have started, so that is coming now. But we are now talking about my latest completest, which is my leopard. Isn't she beautiful? She's come out lovely, absolutely lovely. Still yet again, I will say it, G's, S's. <laughs> now, because I've done so many diamond shop dark paintings, I am used to their symbols. But I will say there is a couple of symbols there that I still struggle with. This one wasn't as bad as some others. But yeah. Okay, so 52, sorry, 62 by 50. It does come with the uh, legend separately. So when I frame this, this legend will go on the back so that if by chance something happens and I need to replace the drill, I actually have the legend. I'm not having to cut it off. Now the colours. What did I run out of? I ran out of nothing. I will say that I have two empty bottles here. That is because out of this range of colours, I only have two that I don't already have. So what I'm doing, I don't keep all my drills. What I do keep though is the colours that I don't have so that they're just there as a spare just in case I need them. I have never run out of drills for Diamond Shop. Uh, so if we actually look at quantity, I still have 154. 3371 was, you know, still two tubs. 939, which is another big one. Uh, you know, I did have absolutely plenty of drills. There's no issue of running out. 
never had a thought that I was going close to sh getting short at all. So I actually don't know what their percentage of extras they pack. So like most businesses, most companies will say, oh, well, you get 30% more diamonds. So I don't know what they, I've never actually asked the question. Reggie, Rowena, if you're down there, do you have a percentage that you cover or, uh, yeah, only just, just a fleeting thought. I've never run out of drills, but it's just a fleeting thought, just in case asked. Okay, so there we go. I will keep that bag because that's a full bag and those two colours which I don't have. These are going to go into a container and I'm going to do something special with them. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pour all the drills into this. Um, please don't be horrified <laughs> there is a reason because well, I'll, I'll work my way through um, doing this now I have been playing with resin lately well for, for a while now and I will show you something that I have started to do with a completed diamond painting what I've started to do so these are the drills that were in I still it's not complete hundred percent completed <laughs> but these are the drills that was in where stars come from so the Jeremiah Morelli this was the leftover drills and I have created a bowl Okay, so that's what I'm doing with my leftover drills. So what I'm going to do with this, these leftover drills, these leftover drills are going to end up in a bowl of some sort. And uh, I'll be able to go, well, that is a colour. Those are the colours of my leopard. which I think is really cool to be able to do that. Might as well put these tubes back in the containers. Okay, so big excitement plus I have another empty, <laughs> I'll have another empty container, empty um, drill pack, um, storage container. And this is actually, this is why I'm doing this is so you can see how much is actually left over okay I could probably work on doing something with layering who knows instead of actually pouring all out like this now stay tuned because after I've finished pouring these out I'm going to show you the all three customs they are behind here Hang on, there you go. There we go, deheaded nice and quick. <laughs> I'll put that aside. I uh, just need to remove the labels. There we go. So that is the jar of drills. I'm just trying to see if you can see it's nearly not half a jar. It's about a third of a jar. But that can go into some resin in a bowl, do it as a free pour. And I'll be able to go, that was my leopard. Or you might see leopard drills in in etsy store when i finally get it up and running but now on to the important stuff so this is one of three so this one is the leopard um, i don't have much light on in here but the shine on this the sparkle on this is quite beautiful okay so that's the leopard So that's one. There's the cheetah. Looking stunning. And then the lion cub. So, 
Um, they've actually got this listed down as lioness, but it's actually the lion cub. I, when I had it made, I put lioness down, and I should have said lion cub, but it'll say lioness, but this is actually just the cub, just lying in the grass looking at you. His mum is actually right there. That's her leg. <laughs> so these are photographs that I took while I was in South Africa. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blue tack these corners and put them up on the wall where I plan for them to go once they're framed. Framing, these are going to go um, in clip frames. So what I will have is an acrylic um, front panel with boards and clipped around the edge and I will actually be trimming these off. This is, I have done two other of my South African customs and they are in frames like that and Nathan likes them so if I, if Nathan likes them um, I've got no issue with going the same way again. So there we go, the three customs are now complete. Did take me a while, but you know, I have done quite a few diamond paintings in between. All of these are 62 by 50, and um, let's go and have a look at the next step, which is where these guys will go. Okay, Gems, here we go. This is them, um, they are blue tacked up, <laughs> so I've got to try and do this quickly. Let's turn the light on so you can really see them properly. So, this is where they're going to go. This is where I want them. How cool is that? We do actually have a door here now when I first decided I wanted them. So what we've got is half faces, but with the door shut, we have them up here. So we have the leopard, the cheetah and the lion cub. So the lion cub is looking up. He's looking slightly to the side, but the leopard is up in the tree looking down at us. Oops, but <laughs> the wind has opened that door. Oop! What happens when you walk away? There's one. Okay, so what do you think? They are stunning right where they are. So Gems, hope you enjoyed that. If you do like any of these images, they are able to get purchased from Diamond Shop. Uh, Use the link below. And uh, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down if you must. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And the uh, bell to be notified when you up uploads. And I'll say bye for now.